Welcome back to New England Crypto. My name is Matthew, and we are a crypto mining family. As always, this is not financial advice, and do your own research. Now that's out of the way, let's have some fun and make some money. Okay, now that we're back from time traveling to 2018 to find some crypto mining profits, let's check out what we found. In today's video, we are taking a look at the Bakel or Bikel BK-G28 Multi-Algorithm ASIC Miner from 2018. This is a 28 Gigahash ASIC Miner. She may be a little old, but she's still a beast when it comes to hashing performance as well as efficiency. We are going to be focusing on Grostel or Grostel, Grostel coin. Apologies if I'm butchering the name. I did a bunch of research and this is the best that I could come up with. This ASIC is spec to run at right around 450 watts on this algorithm, but we've had even better luck with the efficiency on that, which makes for even better profits. More on the efficiency and current profits on this miner later in this video. Just like our smaller box miners, we are going to be powering this beautiful beast with a platinum grade server power supply from the good people at Parallel Miners. We'll leave our affiliate link for Parallel Miners down in the description below for anyone that's interested. Thank you very much for your support. Now to get it hooked up to our PDU that's on the 240 outlet. Luckily, the Amazon seller that Matt Electron connected us with was able to send us all of the necessary power cables as well. Very cool of them. And totally forgot about the ethernet or internet connection. Thankfully, Mrs. New England Crypto is able to make custom Cat6 internet cables in less than 5 minutes. Thank you again. You are awesome. One last look at her before we get her hooked up and hashing. Man, she is beautiful. I love this thing. I really like how you can see the seven individual hash boards behind the fans. Such a cool piece of technology. Oh yeah, and one more thing before we hook it up. Be careful with your power wires. Most of the included power wires are nice 16 gauge wire, but unfortunately there were a couple of 18 and 20 gauge wires mixed in as well. Please do us all a favor and make sure that you don't use any of the 18 or 20 gauge wires from Amazon with any of your server power supplies. If you need power cables, both parallel miners and the veteran miner have your back. Now that that PSA is out of the way, let's get this thing properly connected to power. For the algorithm that we are focusing on, we only need to put one 6-pin to each hash board, except for the two that have the fan control wires or fan power wires. Those two boards get two 6-pins. And as soon as I plugged that ninth wire in, I knew we had a small problem. This breakout board only has outputs for eight six pins. Luckily, back over here, 
we have a bigger breakout board on a server power supply running just two box miners that we'll be able to utilize for this just fine. Perfect! Now over on the ASIC Miner Value website, we can see the coin or algorithm options for this miner, the current profitability, forecasted power usage, and at the top it shows the most profitable algorithm. But that's not the one that we're going to be focusing on because it draws a little too much power. Down here, towards the bottom, we will see more efficient algorithms. This one, 28 giga hash at just 450 watts. That sounds good to me, especially because we were able to get it to run at even less, which makes even more. Yeah, buddy. I'll happily take that dollar a day in profit after paying average electrical rates. No problem, especially in this bloody bear market. And down towards the bottom, we can see all the mineable coins for this piece of hardware, even a couple that aren't in use anymore, which is still cool to look back on. The active pools for this piece of hardware and what they were being sold for at reputable vendors recently, $1,500 to $1,800. Here is what my meter box was drawing before we hooked this thing up, right around 1,100 watts on average. Back to our meter box, we can see that we are now averaging 1,475 watts, which brings the total power usage of this unit to 375 watts, which is 75 watts below what ASIC Miner Value is saying, which definitely brings our profitability up above a dollar a day, even at the bottom of this bloody bear market. Here on the GUI for the miner, we can see that this thing has been running nice and stable and staying nice and cool. The fans are still set at 100%, so I'm going to mess with those, try to lower those down, get this thing to be even more efficient, and earn us even more money. I love how the GUI shows us information for each individual hash board. Very cool. Huge thank you to our friend Matt Electron for keeping his eye out on this thing for us. It took us a while to find it, but man are we stoked. We appreciate you, brother. We're going to leave his affiliate link for Amazon for these down in the description below. They sell out fast, but they throw a couple more on here and there, so keep your eye out. Support him, support me, we all appreciate you. Like, subscribe, we're here for you if you need us. Find us in Discord, ask us anything you need. Much love.